Hi everybody and welcome once again to New Mastercraft for Press Rise from Minecraft 1.16. Today we are going to go to the Ace Spawner, Vanilla Spawner, we're actually going to go to the Nether. I've set it all up already and get the Spawner Extractor working. So let's go and have a look at that, shall we? Well, you can see I died here. <laughs> Um, so what I did is I put down a center turret because what the problem was, you can see it's blue on which means it's got the cold bit. And the problem was that that's full and I'm not quite sure how it's full of zombie pigment but it, it is. So let's go and fly over to the fortress. I think it's over here. And just up here I've got a spawner set up. Uh, a spawner extractor because here is the spawner. And so that's already set up here and it's it's not turned on yet, but it's got a little bit of pressure in here. So let's go and turn it on. So it's set up in the usual way. So I've got a fluid compressor here, and it should have some fluid in it. Let's have a look. It has got some fluid in it. And that will then go through the vacuum pump here, and that then cause this to be depressurized. So let's just turn it on. That's just a pump here, so I don't need to. <laughs> and I also set up a another Sunday trip. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put down some protection from the back, so it's so to speak, so that anything coming along I've missed along here won't be able to reach me so easily. Not that it matters that much because we're fairly well protected, but that should do. So in a while, this should, as you can see, there's quite a few. Wrong one. This should get some press depressure in, so what's it now? 0 0.58. 0 0.59. Have I got that the right way around? It should be going down. Oh yes, of course, this will take a few seconds before this actually reaches pressure in here. So let's just set up, um, just turn, make sure I've got the thing, jet boots enabled and turn on the jet boots. So we should be able to see this better. So now you can see this is the plus side, and so this should then be reducing in pressure. Um, it says that, but it looks like some, for me it's not reducing in pressure. Let's have a look outside. One point five. Oh, yeah, now it's going down nicely. As you can just see it was going down to one point four bar. So I'll be back in a few seconds when this reaches low a low pressure here. So it took a long time before this actually reached minus, the negative, so it's got to go down to minus 0.5 bar. In fact, while I'm here, and since I've actually got this and made all of these, I might as well drink one of these, why not I? Uh, fire resistance potion. It's, as I said before, it doesn't really matter in this, this armour, it's perfectly safe. So any second now, let's have a look, minus 0.5 it's got to go down to point f minus 0.5 bar and as soon as it does that then this is going to start turning and when that starts turning then mobs are going to spawn like crazy and they do spawn like crazy i'm not sure whether i'm supposed to have a sentry turret here or not but i've decided to put one in just to see how if it affects anything um if it does affect something then all i'm going to do is put in uh, take it out again so we're nearly there now <laughs> This chest, by the way, has also got a magnet upgrade in here, and all the sides are set, so that that should absorb some blaze rods if we come around here. So we're nearly there, and I was going to make a pause, but I think I'll just not pause it because it's going down reasonably fast. All right, any second now, it's going to start rotating. And then we're going to get a lot of mob spawning. Now it starts, as you see. Now from my side, it's not really much of a big deal. <laughs> Having said that, I have actually got killed by blazes before now. But let's just turn the jetpack on. Oh yes, of course that means I've been hit. Oops. But of course, with the sword, it's not too much of a problem getting rid of these the blazes as they're spawning. And then, when you look at this here, it'll tell you the progress. Should we should have a progress somewhere about in here? We can see 
multiple employees. I think you have to right click it. Progress 40%, there you go. I shouldn't really be looking at that, of course, at the time I'm doing this. <laughs> but if you want to fight in a lot of blaze rods, then this is a good way to get rid of them. And this doesn't last too long, but so you can see how tough it is. <laughs> you might as well have a look at this. <laughs> Good, going away. And you can see I'm also getting fed at the same time. So I'm, this is what makes it reasonably civil. Oh, she's right down there, hello. So how much progress have we got now? I have to right click. That's 79%, 80%. But you can see obviously one sentry turret is definitely not enough. <laughs> But if it doesn't work, then it stalls. I don't think that's going to be the problem today. So it should be about done. Oh, there's a ghast over there. Uh -oh. I'll have to just go and attack the gas while I'm doing this. In fact, I need to turn off builder's mode while I'm doing this, don't I? Control Z? Yeah. Oh no. Control Z, turn it off. Right, where are we? So, <laughs> I'm a bit lost, I have to be honest with you. I've got distracted by the. Plenty of mobs around here. Have some more of these guys. Of course, there are actually two spawners in here as well. Sorry, I'll be back in a second as soon as I found where the spawner is. It can't be very far away. I think it should be over here. I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm back. Now we have an empty spawner, and we also have a spawner caught in here. We're 100% blaze, as you can see. We picked up some other bits and pieces like torches and take those out of there. In fact, we've got a lot of <laughs> blaze rods, <laughs> so we don't need any blaze rods for that matter. So we can actually um, then break this spawner. You can't break the spawner before you, you've got this. I think we can break it now. Yeah. So now we have a empty spawner. Of course, I've got to turn this off. I forgot to do that. Let's just turn this off like that. And then we can turn off all of this stuff down here like this and then break it up ready for the next time so i can turn that off oh i can turn it off if i break it right i'll see you in a few seconds when i've cleared up the area well on my way back i discovered a chest and it had some diamonds some di horse armor diamond horse armor, and i also came across two ghasts so we got rid of them let's get rid of this stuff in here that i shall leave in here in fact most of the bits we don't need we don't need all of these bits in here so what we would do we want is this and the spawn and we should be able to just power it up i've not done this before so this is the first time so let's go and have a look see how this works i reckon it just needs some power or some pressure let's put it on top of here i'm not sure what form of pressure it needs but let's just have a look now if you normally break a spawn it just explodes is there anything in here do we have to do oh yes i probably have to do something with this let's have a look let's look at the uses of this because i just should have done that first of all shouldn't i so if we do that with some advanced pipes we get a pressurized spawner okay i think that i might have no i don't have enough stuff with me i'll just go and get that set up so we need four advanced pipes which is I keep turning things around at the moment. So four advanced pipes, and I've got plenty of those already, plus some 
Compressed iron, four of those, and that should be enough to make the pressurised spawner. Like that, and then spawns mobs and it ignores light level restrictions. So let's go and have a look at this. Um, it's going to be safer if I put it on top of this because this has only got a maximum of five bar anyway. So let's have a look like this. And it needs 10 bar, so I need to remove that restriction. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, as I actually do that, if I remove this one, right click this one here like that, and then remove this, it shouldn't uh, lose any air. Oops. I hopefully I kept the pipe, but it didn't take the air. Yes, it took the restrictor. So then that, that way we don't lose any pressure, and this should be then pressured up enough. Um, problems, not enough pressure, I guess. Now, why is that not? Has this run out of fluid? Oh, indeed, it has. So, we just need to put some fluid in this. I should have some in the tank over here, so in the chest over here. I mean, I think I've got a tank of kerosene. Let's just pick it up. I mean, let's open it up and take the tank out. Yes, I've got a tank in there. I've also got some. Um, I haven't put the gas tears away, it should be alright. So let's just take this with us anyway. I think I've got my magnet still turned on. So let's put the tank down here. I could have put, of course, put a dispenser upgrade in this, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take a some fluid oops try again ah missed which i'm going to give it a lag in here that's probably part of the problem so what's that running now it is so that should pressure should should be building up let's check it over here indeed it is <laughs> yes, well, I lost a lot of some carrots over there from the from the kerosene. It shouldn't matter very much. So let's put into here the spawner and wait a while before this pressure reaches up. That, but that should be increasing. Indeed, it is. I probably should put a speed upgrade into that. I'll do that and I'll come back in a second. And now we've got ten bar in here. In fact, I made a mistake. <laughs> I underneath here, I've got these pipes. Uh, these and these are supposed to have negative pressure in <laughs> and and i think putting the spawner pressure spawner on here forced these to basically loop the pressure through here again so these are now pressured up and they should be pressured down <laughs> anyway so what i've done here is i've set it up let's just do it like this so we've got a redstone signal on here and we're just about not quite ready yet i think it's just warnings because we've got redstone on here so let's turn that off there so that will enact it just will start to work won't it um i'm not sure how long it takes to work there we go and that uh, the rubbish collector took the uh, there we go so then you can turn it off like that and it stops working. So on the other side of this, of course, what we could do is because we've got this underneath here now, we could actually take out of here this pressurised point. In fact, what we could actually do is remove it altogether. So let's just remove this pipe because this is still under pressure. <laughs> it's going to take a long time to get rid of this pressure in here. And then remove this. and probably put the pipe back again in a few seconds when the pressure has been reduced a bit and um, you can see on here it's going down it, it's quite slow going down so let's just put the piece of pipe on here like this and then we can shut it off as soon as it gets near to about that thing probably but unfortunately the, the, it's quite a long piece of pipe so the or pressure tube and so it'll still be underneath here a reasonable pressure so you can see it's 2.6 bar here um so what we can simply do is bring it down here like this i think we could probably put the vacuum trap here and then bring a piece of pipe up into it 
So let's do that. I should have a piece of pipe for that one. Nope, I'll go and get a piece of pipe in back in a second. Oh yeah, I've got some advanced pipes. It'll do just as fine. Just well. I should just be able to click click it on like that and then it should just link into this. And then we could should be able to also right click this one here. So we've still got this in here. And as you can see it's got a bit of space in here. So what we could actually do is make another one of these. Um spawner cores. Let's go and do that. I shall do that and come back in a second with an empty spawner core. Somebody actually asked me how we oops, I just filled it up with my with my um uh, memory stick, you can see you can take memory sticks out of it. Let's just click this across here. I want to move this actually. Let's move it into the output. And then I should be able to use my... And we've got an empty spawn in here. We should be able to use this memory stick to take the XP out of there and put it back into the tank. So this is now is now empty. And that's how you can transfer... Well, obviously you can use a tank as well, but in this case we use this one. I should also have the spawner come in here. Let's have a look. An empty spawner core, good. So we should then be able to put this spawner core into into here like that, and we'll also need some XP. Um, let's just take a bucket of XP, take a bucket of XP, and put it in like that, and then we should be able to put this spawner core into here. And this has got a range upgrade. I'm not sure that the range upgrade actually works. But obviously, there's too much pressure up here at the moment, so I've got to wait for this pressure to go down a lot. Um, one way to do it, of course, is just put a piece of pipe on top of this. Let's do that. And let the pressure come out of here. So that should start to reduce the pressure here quite nicely. Uh, we have to open this up as well, of course. We have to oops, try and do an empty hand and need to do with that one. And we can remove this piece of pipe. So I'll have to wait a while before this goes gets down to zero again. I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, maybe I oh he's he wants to shoot the drones. Um sorry, I need to just change a filter in here. I want to exclude um players. Uh, but I only want to include Enderman, so let's just do at drone as well, so it doesn't try shooting drones. Um, this target filter is made up from not Enderman. Well, I'm sure it's Enderman or Enderman, I will be honest. Let's have a look. Um, and my and man, yes, so, and so it's not an Enderman. Um, and it's not a player and it's not a drone so this is going to shoot everything that's accepting those things I should also do the same in this one as well so we need to do um, so we'll do it like this not oops we better take these out of here because <laughs> he's shooting me <laughs> oops <clears throat> right I'll be back in a second <laughs> I get it in time. Nope. <laughs> As you can hear, it's still shooting, even though I've actually got it. <laughs> I managed to capture the sentry turret. <laughs> But I think I died a few times, as you can probably see. There's a, I've got a few death notices somewhere in one of these chests. I think it's this one. Uh, no, it's not this one. <laughs> Anyway, what I shall now do is I shall just come back in a second and reload the game because you can't hear anything. Right, that's better. <laughs> what I want to do is put the sentry turret down again and get the correct filter in it this time. I probably better do that first before I put any, anything into it. As you can see, it wants to shoot me. So what we don't want is we don't end them in. And we don't want app player. <laughs> And we also don't want at drone. Okay, and I think that's correct now, as you can see. It's not pointing at me anymore, so I'm safe to put the ammunition back in again if I can find it. I'm not sure where I put the ammunition. I will be honest with you. I've got some in here anyway. The idea being 
is when we spawn the, the mobs out here, I'm going to also need to break all this stuff out as well. I'll, what, I'll be back in a second when I have to, oh, there's the chest. I, get, I, was, I was sneaking up on the, I was sneaking up on the, on the turret for, and it wasn't working very well. I have to be honest with you. I'll be back in a second with the, with the, with the weapons for this thing. Well, I'm not doing very well here. Let's just check what I've got in this one. I've got the blaze spawn here. Let's put the other one in here. And then we can turn this on. And that should start to spawn. And we should get the absorbed endermen. But I, I suspect we're going to get more than just endermen being absorbed in here. Let me just turn my jetpack off. I've lost some stuff. I don't know where it's gone to. <laughs> I will be honest. So I think this should spawn stuff. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just check it. So everything's green. But it's not actually spawning anything at the moment. I'm not sure if it needs to be full. That is for certain. Maybe it does need to be full. Oops, and I'm getting shot up by some skeletons. And they're not actually getting attacked. Ah, oh, yes, of course, because I've got no I've got no ammunition in this one. I need to put some ammunition there. Right, I'll be back in a, in a second when I've got some ammunition for these guys. I don't know what I've done with it. I will be honest with you. I should have them. Ah, oh, here we are. You see, I actually resorted to getting some my premium armour out of here. So let's put some of this into it stuff there and then you can see the number of death notices that I got <laughs> six well, that was smart wasn't it let's just try this one over here let's put some ammunition in here right so I'm going to be back in a minute with another vacuum trap and I'll see you in a few seconds well I'm completely wrong about that this is definitely getting filled with uh, zombies uh, endermen um, so they are spawning it's just that as you can see uh, and what I'm a bit surprised about is um, well it, since it's working I'm not actually seeing them when I was having this down I didn't see any any range upgrades being applied so I reckon that they're spawning and then they're getting so, sucked up straight away but let's just take out the range upgrades in here and see if we actually see one Maybe that was happening all the time and I just wasn't seeing it. Still 22%. Well, I'll be back in a second. See how, see how this gets in because I don't want to be standing here waiting for this to work. See you in a second. Yep. Well, it's definitely working. I've just seen one more. That was an endermen. I think the endermen just probably went up 7%, yes. And the um, zombies have gone up. Of course, we can put speed upgrades into here as well. I'll just check the upgrades. So let's put in a speed upgrade. I don't, don't want to have a mass of mobs spawning all at the same time. I'm not sure how that affects it. Uh, one thing I've also... There we go. That zombie will probably be taken straight away. So the ones I don't want to get into here are creepers, really. So, so that's the intention. Maybe I should have it a little bit further away. I don't know. Uh, in here, oh yeah. So that this one here, of course, is. Oops, where's it gone to? Now that was a creeper, and he did get absorbed. Uh, <laughs> absorbed, as you can see, two percent creepers. So that's working pretty well. <laughs> I have to say, I really didn't want to have creepers in here, so I'm going to have to go and do this cycle once again. And I don't think you can empty spawn core out either. So let's just shove the rest of these speed upgrades in here and see what happens. So they are getting absorbed fairly quickly, even before they can actually get into here. I got hit by an explosion. Right, that's it. <laughs> I'll just turn this off quickly so we don't have... Oh, that turns that off as well. Ah, okay. So that's now got a negative signal. Does that turn it on? Oh, it does indeed. Ah, oh, brilliant. I didn't know that. So there is a redstone signal for this as well. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have definitely learnt not to mess around with them. Uh, sentry turrets when they've got our ammunition. Anyway, until next time, I will wish you all the best. Bye for now.